In this video we're going to look at how to get up and running with Robot Studio. So the first thing you want is start Robot Studio and then on the file tab we're just going to click on create a new station. We're going to create a station with a robot controller and we've got a small robot, we've got an IRB120 so I'm going to select this, then we'll have the same robot that we have in lab. I can select any other robots and we're going to get pretty much the same um, environment except the robot will be different and I wouldn't be able to take the program that I write here over to the real robot in the lab. So I'll select our IRB120 robot and it's going to ask me where to save it as well. This is just the default location, I'm fine with that. And I'll click create. So we just have to wait for a second while the virtual controller starts up and the robot model gets imported. Notice the controller status is red right now. And you notice down at the bottom of the screen, these are the default moves. So if I'm going to teach the robot from Robot Studio, then this would be the values that are used by default if I don't change them. We're just going to pick a regular 120, not the T model. And the robot's highlighted in red because it's selected right now. It's been clicked on. So if I just click off it, there we go. So there's our robot. And I'm just using the rolling the mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. Hold down the control key, left mouse button. I'm panning. Control shift, left mouse button, and I can rotate. We can freehand jog, so we can grab joints of the robot and move them around if we want to. Obviously, we wouldn't be able to do this on a real robot, so we can do it in the environment to kind of position the robot. There's a bunch of selection tools along here. We would use those later on, especially if we're going to program tool paths from the virtual environment. So I can bring in a model of my part, a CAD model, and I can program all the tool paths right off my part within Robot Studio. It's pretty interesting. So in the if we're in the lab with the real robot. I wouldn't even normally bring a robot in. I would just go to controller and I could do a one click connect and that would connect me to the controller of our real robot. On the virtual robot I don't have to worry about that menu right now. So we've got simulation. We won't be using that quite yet. Controller. We've got rapid where we can edit rapid programs. On the controller tab, I come to flex pendant, then I can open the virtual flex pendant. It opens up on another screen here. I'll just slide it into view. And let me just go back here and I'll click on this. We'll hold down the control key and let's slide the robot over. Zoom out a little bit, slide it up and I'll just go down to my task bar, redisplay the teach pendant. You can see it defaults into auto mode. We usually leave it in manual mode for the lab. So I'll just right click on the edge of the pendant here and it shows us the front panel of the controller. So I'm going to turn it back to manual mode. We see we're in manual mode here. I'll click on the pendant and that will go away. I'm going to hold down the enable button which we know is on the right side of the controller underneath we hold that with our hand we now have motors on and I'm jogging axis 1 to 3 with no increment so we should be able to start moving the robot around there we go and if you watch the the other videos on how to jog the robot and how to program a simple program using the teach pendant, then you're all set up to go now.